Come on, let's go, let's go. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell, Goose and I are out for a little overnight trip in the woods here. So it's late November here in Newfoundland. And as you can tell, uh, winter has set in. So uh, a little earlier than usual. Uh, last year, I think we were well into January before we got any amount of snow. But this year, uh, last couple of weeks, we've been getting a little bit of snow uh, every couple of days. So probably got about six inches of snow on the ground and supposed to get some more this afternoon and then that's supposed to change to rain and we're supposed to get uh, about 10 to 15 millimeters of rain overnight tonight and the wind is supposed to pick up so it's going to be uh, a bit of a dirty old wet uh, snowy night and all i brought for my shelter is my 10 by 10 tarp so uh, it could be an interesting night under the tarp see if we can stay dry so yeah, it's uh, just after 1 p.m. here now, and this time of year it gets dark around 4.35 p.m. So uh, I gotta get to work here, get the tarp set up, get a bunch of firewood cut, get a fire going, and uh, yeah, settle in for the night. Uh, it's gonna be about 14 hours or so of darkness, so we're gonna be hunkered down on, under the tarp for quite a while. So it could be a bit of a long night, but it uh, should be interesting. All right, so tarp is set up. So this should do the trick. Uh, so I set it up, I left one section of the tarp on the ground to kind of use as a ground sheet. And I'll put my, uh, my air mattress on top of this and then my sleeping bag and goose can, uh, goose can cuddle in there with me. We have plenty of room for the two of us. And then we still got all of this out in front of us to keep the rain off of us so i don't know what way the wind is gonna come tonight if it comes straight in here off the pond uh it could be it could be a bit of a problem for us but anyways we'll we'll see what happens there we should be uh sheltered from the rain if nothing else the wind might be uh might be another issue but we'll deal with that when the time comes anyways uh i might have to make a few more little tweaks to the tarp but uh, for now, I'm going to concentrate on getting as much firewood as I can. So, like I mentioned, we only got a couple hours of daylight left here. So, I'm going to try and get as much firewood as possible before it gets dark. Because I don't want to be uh, wandering around in the dark with my headlamp on trying to find dry wood. So, and we're going to want to try and uh, keep the fire burning well into the evening, hopefully. Because it's going to be a long evening under the tarp here.
literally right behind our camp. The tarp is just down through the woods here. You can see the pine right there. And uh, we got some fresh moose tracks right behind the tarp. Probably about 50, 60 feet from the tarp. And these are fresh, fresh tracks. So we had some fresh snow yesterday and uh, this moose was here like in the last, last 24 hours for sure. So anyways, hopefully, uh, hopefully he knows, he or she knows we're here and uh, don't decide to come barreling down through camp in the middle of the night. That wouldn't be good. Dry spruce tree falling down here. So I'm gonna cut that up now and drag it back by the tarp. So I got my, uh, this is the first camping trip I've had this new ax out. So this is a hand forged uh, ax by Black Steel Forge. Uh, he's a blacksmith in Grand Falls, Windsor. So he made this ax for me, hand forged. It's a beauty ax. I'm loving it so far. I haven't used it much, but uh, I had it out on a couple of day trips and uh, loving it so far. So I brought that out with me. On this trip, I made the uh, little leather sheath for it because it didn't come with a sheath, so I made that myself. And I got the, uh, the Boreal 24 folding saw. So we're gonna use that. And the ax to process our firewood. And I'm actually gonna get a fire going right away here because uh, I didn't bring a water filter on this trip, so uh, I've been trying to kind of uh, challenge myself lately to bring like less stuff out in the woods and just try and get by with, without bringing a whole pile of gear. So no water filter. I didn't bring much food at all. All I brought for food was one bottle of mousse. So I'm gonna heat that up later and have that. I didn't bring anything for breakfast tomorrow morning or any other food at all. Just brought one bottle of mousse and some coffee for later. And of course I got Goose's dog food. Yeah, I'm trying to bring less gear, so I'm gonna get a fire going, get some water out of the pond here and boil. I'm gonna have to boil all my water before I drink it because I didn't bring the filter. So I'll get some wood cut and uh, get the fire going. So gotta be super careful with the ax here. This thing is razor sharp. So gotta watch, watch where I'm swinging it. See if I can scrape some fine shavings up here. And uh, the outside of this birch bark is pretty pretty wet. It's been kind of drizzly all day. We had a little bit of snow this morning. And since then it's just been like a, a light drizzle falling. So everything is pretty uh, pretty damp. Here we go. Fold some of these dry spruce twigs in on top of that and we should be good to go.
so only about i don't know maybe three inches of ice right here by the shore so uh yeah this will be about as far as i'm venturing out onto the ice on this trip goose get back in here come on in let's go in but this will do for our water Actually, I'm gonna go grab my smaller pot so I can scoop water up out of this little hole and fill up the bigger pot. And I'll get that on the fire and uh, get that boiling. All right, so we got a decent amount of wood here. I put most of it under the tarp to try to keep it somewhat dry. Got another big piece here. So I found a, a big dead standing spruce tree, one nice big one. So I spent the last hour or so cutting that down, cutting it up and dragging it back here under the tarp. So the rain seems like it's starting to set in now raining pretty good so i'm probably just gonna hang out under the tarp here now I haven't been filming much because i've been trying to take advantage of uh, a little bit of daylight that's left to get as much wood as i could find but yeah we may have to call it uh, call it good on the wood because i don't want to get soaking wet and it's raining pretty good there now so some of the wood still needs to be uh, split and cut up a little more but I can kind of just pick away at that under the tarp here. And yeah, that's about it. Goose is still out chasing sticks. But I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something now. And uh, just chill out under the tarp. Nice dry spruce here. Beauties. Nice. So, not sure if you guys notice on the video or not, but uh, Goose has a wound, like a, a cut on his side. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not, but. Just figured I would mention it to anyone who, who noticed or uh, was wondering what happened to him. So, let's see if I can. Come here, Goose. See if I can show you. Right here. So, this actually looks really good now compared to what it used to look like. But, anyways, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, Goose got in a little tussle with some other dogs so he uh, he was at home in our driveway and there were some dogs walking by out on the road and Goose saw him and took off decided to run out and check him out and uh, I don't know exactly what happened but by the time I got out there I ran out to get him and uh, he had a big piece missing out of his side so I don't know exactly what happened but anyways Goose got uh, a chunk bitten out of them which was unfortunate so i actually had like a slow week coming up at work and i had some plans to come out and uh, do a couple of camping trips and a couple of youtube videos and uh right before that week started he ended up getting bit and he was basically then laid up for the last like two and a half weeks or something and it's just now starting to heal over to the point where i could take him out so that's uh, another part of the reason why i haven't been getting many videos out lately but 
but it is what it is and uh yeah the main thing is he's gonna be all right and uh, starting to heal over so Well, just having a nice hot coffee here now. Rain is coming down pretty good. So, we're losing daylight pretty fast. Probably doesn't look like it on the camera yet, but it's getting dark pretty quick now. So, it's 4 o'clock. So, I'd say by 4.30, quarter to 5, it's going to be pretty much pitch dark, especially on a rainy day like this. So I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, and if there's any daylight left, I may wander back behind camp here and try and grab a couple more just small dry sticks to throw on the fire. And then we're basically just gonna be uh, hunkering down under the tarp for the night, listening to the rainfall, watching the fire, and uh, yeah, just trying to stay dry through the night. All right, well, we got the fire rocking pretty good here now. I just threw on like a, a bunch of big pieces and uh, really starting to take off. So I think it's gonna be pretty cozy here under the tarp. The only issue I'm having now is the smoke is blowing right off the pond right towards the tarp. So I'm kind of getting smoked out a little bit. Oh, goose is coming in. Come in, bud, lie down. Goose is finally, uh, only gonna try and lay down for a bit. He's been going flat out all day here. Good boy goose. He's soaked. I should have brought a towel to dry him off before he uh, he lit on his wool blanket here. But yeah, I got uh, I got my sleeping pad set up, and I got Goose's wool blanket set out. I don't have my sleeping bag out yet. I want to try and uh, wait till the last minute so it doesn't get wet. But yeah, Goose will probably lie down on, on his wool blanket here and settle in for the evening. And I'm starting to get pretty hungry, so I haven't eaten all day since we've been out here. So I'm going to get that bottle of moose uh, thrown in my pot and over the fire here in a minute. Last bottle of moose from last year. get this in my pot and uh, heat it up on the fire here I'm starving now Good stuff. Definitely gonna warm me up, which is what I need. Starting to feel a little, uh, little damp. My pants are pretty much soaked, soaked on the outside, and it's kind of starting to soak through now to my base layer underneath. So I got to dry. Uh, a dry base layer and a dry change of clothes, dry socks in my bag. So right before I climb in the sleeping bag, I'll uh, I'll change into a dry set of clothes. I'll bank up the fire and uh, climb into the sleeping bag.
Well, just going for a little walk up behind camp here. Try to scrounge up some more firewood. So everything is absolutely soaked, still raining. Uh, but the good thing is, once you get a, a nice hot fire going, you get some good coals built up. You can pretty much throw on anything and it'll burn. So I've just been uh, picking up whatever sticks I can find off the ground. Yeah, every uh, every half an hour or so, I'll just take a walk up behind camp here and get some wood, whatever I can find on the ground, and just throw it on the fire. And that kind of warms me up a little bit, just walking around, gives the goose a little run and adds to the firewood pile. So. Well, just figured I'd do a little check-in here. So it's about 8.30 and it's absolutely pouring out here now. The rain slacked up for a little bit, but it's coming on strong again here now. So goose is right here curled up next to me. And I think I'm just going to uh, throw a bunch of wood on the fire, change into some dry clothes and uh, climb into the sleeping bag. Just kind of hunker down for a few hours. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully, get some sleep. Anyways, we'll see how it goes, and uh, I might check in a little later. If not, we'll check in in the morning. <sighs> morning, guys. Well, we made it through tonight, so it's just after 6 a.m. now. So, not gonna lie, it was a bit of a long night. So, uh, ended up falling asleep pretty easily. So, I piled a bunch of wood on the fire and uh, drifted off to sleep, but only slept for probably an hour or maybe two. And then uh, I woke up and it was just absolutely pouring. And uh, the wind had come up quite a bit, so. Uh, the wind and rain was kind of like drifting underneath the tarp and uh, and getting on my sleeping bag and we were getting pretty wet so yeah I had to get up and uh, adjust the tarp so I had to get out and lower the front end of the tarp down lower to the ground to block some of the, the rain and wind and yeah after that uh, didn't get a whole lot of sleep it was just absolutely pouring for a few hours so around 2 a.m i think it was between 2 and 3 a.m the rain kind of finally slacked off but yeah it was a, a cold wet night we did stay pretty dry overall uh, especially after i adjusted the tarp that made a big difference so but yeah it's a, it's a damp and chilly cold morning here now so I'm going to get up now in a minute and uh, get the fire going. i got a bit of firewood left over. Uh, so I'm going to get up, get the fire going, get some coffee. Uh, I didn't even bring any food for breakfast, so just going to get a quick coffee. And uh, then we're going to be packing up and getting out of here pretty much as soon as it gets daylight. Goose is still cuddled in here. He slept pretty good, I think. Got him bundled up in his uh, wool blanket. So, anyways, we'll get up on the go here now and uh, try and get warmed off a bit.
Oh, that coffee is hitting the spot this morning, I'll tell you that. Nice strong black coffee. Just what I needed. Hey, Goose. Goose is sitting there waiting for me to throw the stick for him, as usual. Anyways, I got a bunch of my stuff packed up here as the uh, as I was waiting for the water to boil. So, basically just got to take the tarp down and uh, got a few small things left to put, <clears throat> put in the pack. And uh, then I'll be ready to go. So yeah, that's uh, going to pretty much do it for this one, guys. Just going to enjoy the rest of my coffee before I head out. So, a uh, bit of a quick overnight trip, but it was good to get out for the night. It was a wet, uh, a cold, wet night, but uh, it's nice to do uh, to get out in those kind of conditions every now and then, just to uh, just to try and challenge yourself a little bit or whatever. So, glad I came out. So yeah, just want to say thanks to everyone for uh, for watching. I know I haven't had a video up in a while, but I've <clears throat> been pretty busy with all kinds of different stuff here lately. But hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos up soon. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. All that uh, stuff really helps out. So thanks again guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.